Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be shaving my face like Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe for a week. And before we jump in to me actually shaving my face, let's talk a little bit about the reasons behind why Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor shaved their face. So both Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe shaved their face to combat undesirable facial hair and they used a basic grooming tool to do this. And back then, I think they probably used just a simple razor, but now there's a lot of different tools you can get. I got this Flawless Glow Derma Plan tool at Walmart, and this one removes peach fuzz. And I was actually really curious to learn about the history of shaving your face, as well as the history of the razor, and when did women actually start using razors? So in 1915, women began shaving their legs and underarms. Before this time period, ladies just pulled unwanted hair from their neck and face. Previous to this, women's clothing wasn't as revealing, so they didn't really need to shave their legs and underarms. People began to think of a woman's face as a mirror of her personality in the 18th century and porcelain complexions were considered attractive. As a result, getting rid of facial hair was seen as a moral and aesthetic issue. They would use waxes and tree resins at the time and the pain was horrific. Instead of razors, they employed an industrial depilatory machine and handmade devices to shave these areas. A T-shaped safety razor was invented in the 19th century and this was used instead of the homemade hair removal creams. Shaving was associated with masculinity at the time, therefore men considered their personal area to be private. Women gradually adopted them since they were a less expensive and less painful alternative to conventional hair removal procedures of the time. And when it comes to underarm shaving, women's sleeveless dresses became increasingly popular in the 1920s. Fashion was at the catalyst for ladies shaving their underarms for the first time. As a result, getting rid of the hair beneath the arms became a top goal. No one had ever shaved these areas before. Even the word underarm was regarded as ludicrous. During this time period, Gillette developed a ladies razor and launched the anti-underarm campaign. Its goal was to raise awareness among women about the significance of shaving their underarms and why they should do so with razors. When it comes to leg shaving, women were encouraged to shave their legs in the 1940s and 1950s. They couldn't wear stockings every day since there was a lack of nylon supply during World War II and as a result they couldn't wear them every day. And the only result was to go bare-legged which was actually deemed socially unacceptable at the time. And eventually society became more accepting of this idea and ladies began shaving their legs to keep them looking clean. And dancers were previously the only ones who shaved their legs because they were at the center of attention. And skirts became fashionable in the 1950s. Women were suddenly revealing a lot of leg, prompting them to shave their legs, armpits, and eyebrows. Men were not anticipated to shave anything after such a significant improvement. So I was so fascinated to find out that both Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe shaved their faces to help apply their makeup more smoother and I think it looks better on camera to just kind of have a really um, soft complexion. So now let's jump right into me shaving my face for the first time. I've never actually done this. Okay, so I have my little razor and then, oh. And then the light goes on, so you can see, and I have this little mirror, it's like a zoom in mirror, that I'm gonna have to use because I can't see properly without it. So I'm gonna start with like this area and do upward motions, and you have to be very gentle on the skin, so I'm not gonna push too hard, and just do like little feathering motions. So I'm gonna start with my chin. There's definitely a decent amount of skin and peach fuzz on there already. I have noticed before in the past little um, hairs coming out of my chin and I pluck them. With this, I feel like if you're not applying any pressure, it doesn't really work. It honestly doesn't even feel very sharp. I mean, it's probably a good thing. And now you can see a lot of peach fuzz. 
it's probably a good thing that it's not like super sharp, but it still feels like it's not really working. It's kind of weird. Maybe I was expecting better results, but honestly, I feel like this isn't even doing anything. I mean, I'm going on my face. So my face definitely feels smoother than before. I feel like I got most of it. I didn't do much to my forehead because I feel like there's not really a lot of hairs there. So I kind of focused on this area. It kind of feels a bit scratchy around here in this area slightly. It does feel smoother. I'm gonna like check back like and look at my skin in a few days to see if there's like any extra hairs. But yeah, I can definitely notice here my cheek areas it feels like less hair I guess so it just feels a bit smoother and that light was a little bit terrifying to be honest because I it, like really shows all the flaws in your skin I was quite freaked out now I want to like try to find some like at home IPL machine or something anyway so I'm gonna wait a few hours and then like wash my face so I'll check back with you guys probably tomorrow morning and then apply my makeup so you can see what it looks like on and if I notice anything and then throughout the week I'm gonna see if it needs any touch-ups or anything like that. Hello lovelies, so I just wanted to check in with you. So I'm about to hop in the shower and just finished like a little day at work and then I went Christmas shopping. Today is December 23rd, so Merry Christmas to everyone. I know this video is going out I think a week after New Year's, so, but I just wanna say Merry Christmas or I hope you all had a really good Christmas and Happy New Year. So as you can see here, this part, I got rid of all the hair pretty good. And I, when I like closed the mirror and looked at the light, I could see that I missed a few spots, especially in this area here and some spots up here. But I did really get these areas pretty good. And when I touch my face, it feels super soft, like way softer than normal. And especially right here. And I do like how my makeup sits on it, so I'm pretty impressed. I feel like I could do a bit more in here and like this area. It's, it's hard to tell. And like the technique too, I feel like you're supposed to go like really light feathering. I think I did two broad upstrokes a few times, but I'm just kind of getting into the rhythm. And so I think I'm probably going to do a touch up maybe tomorrow morning. Or I might even wait till like Monday maybe and just see how it goes. Or actually I might try to do some of the spots I missed. But anyways, I just wanna check in and kind of give you the status of my skin. I know rashes or anything, so that's all good. And I feel like, yeah, I definitely can see the difference. You can even see like when the light's reflecting on the spot, how smooth it is right there. So I just need to like work my technique a bit better and get like kind of a bit up here and stuff. I feel like I didn't miss a few spots. And do like a once over on the chin. I haven't attempted the forehead, but I might try a little bit. Um, the hair is starting to grow back from the wax. And I did a little bit between the eyebrows. I don't know if people do this area, probably not. Cause those ones I could probably just pluck right there. Anyway, so I just want to kind of show you what my skin looks like and my thoughts after day one of trying it so I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'll probably check in with you tomorrow morning so yeah today is the second day and then tomorrow is Christmas Eve it doesn't seem too bad I mean I like the way my face feels and the light reflecting on it and it just feels soft and smooth I just have to see if it actually exfoliated I'm not sure if it's just because there's no hair or if it actually did remove skin so anyways so have a good evening and yeah I'm gonna go take a shower 
Hello lovelies, so today is Christmas Eve day and I'm about to like do a workout on my exercise machine and before I decide to do a little bit more of the derma planning face shaving, I want to exfoliate my face a little bit and I've been loving this sugar scrub by Fresh and it says to leave it on for 10 minutes so I'm going to do leave it on like while I work out which will be 30 minutes but I think it'll be okay. I really want the like oils to like set into my skin and I just love this mask. I'm like really impressed by it that I want to try the other products. It just smells really good and it makes my skin feel amazing afterwards. I never tried letting it sit for a little bit longer on my skin and I think it won't hurt because it's just like oils and stuff so it should be moisturizing. And then I also have to wash my hair, which I only do once a week, and that's a pain, sort of. Because my hair is pretty long, that's why I only do it once a week, and then I just dry shampoo the rest of the week. Just because it's like, kind of a process, I feel, washing it. So I'm just going to put this on, and let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I shower, and then we'll check back with you. Hello lovely, so I just got out of the shower, and... I did a few extractions. I noticed that my face was smoother so I could like see a little um, clogged pores. I'm gonna put some toner on my face. I'm just using the Rose Witch Hazel just to kind of soothe my skin a little. And then I'm gonna put a bit of oil on my face too to moisturize it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some more strokes on my face. I was watching other videos on YouTube and I felt like when people were doing it, it was so dramatic. Like you could really see the, the skin and the hair coming off, so I don't know. I'm gonna try it again and be more gentle this time and see if that helps. I'm just gonna put a little bit of face oil. I was watching a video on the lady. I liked the way she was applying her oil. She like went like this on her face and then on her cheeks. I thought that was cool. And then she rubbed it in. This is the ordinary face oil. I think it's argan oil. I really like oils. I put a lot of them on my face. So now that I'm like extremely moisturized, I'm just gonna rub it everywhere. Down my neck too. I ended up changing the blade it's fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not even seeing anything. Which probably means I most definitely got most of it the first time. I just wanted to see if there's oh well, there's a few hairs on that one. See if I missed any. So it felt like I did. Now I'm convinced that my razor just sucks because I'm not seeing anything even come on. It's ridiculous. I think there's definitely some more peach fuzz over on this side. But nothing too dramatic. I must have just got most of it the first time. It seemed like when I was shining my face in the light that I was missing a few spots. There's a few minor hairs, but nothing major. I always want to make sure I get the nose too, because I hate those like gross hairs on the tip of your nose. But honestly, well, that settles that, I guess. I got most of it the first time, so I just remember looking in the light and I saw a few little hairs, but nothing is coming up on here, so. And I don't really have a lot of hairs on my forehead either, so that settles that. Yeah, there really isn't much on there. So anyways, my skin definitely feels soft still, so I'll check back later. Um, I tried. I wanted to do it one more time to see if there was anything that I 
forgot to pick up, but I think for the most part with this, you probably only need to do it once a month. I just kind of want to try it once more just to see if there's any little hairs missing. It's weird, I see like little pieces of skin. So that was interesting. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello lovely. so today is the last day of my face shaving experiment and it's been a full week now and I must say I'm really impressed with the results and my skin does feel really smooth like when I touch my face it feels really soft and smooth and I don't have it's hard to explain but before I felt like kind of fuzz and I feel like my makeup goes on smoother I did notice that it doesn't really get rid of coarse hair so I had to do like minor plucking here and there and it doesn't shave it straight down to the skin. So there is subtle peach fuzz, if that makes sense, but it really strips away a lot of it. And as you can see, because the razor has that little jagged edge, it just doesn't do like a full on flat shave as it would with a real straight razor. So I was kind of expecting to, it to like take away my skin like I saw other people do in videos, but I think that's more of a professional treatment, which I do want to try. And I've been looking online for places where I live. So I'm really curious now to see what that would be like, to see if it would help with like age spots, stuff like that, and discoloration and exfoliation. And I might try that, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll do that for another video, but I will definitely do this again. I think you only need to really do it once a month to get really good results and then you wait for your peach fuzz to grow back so you don't really need to be doing it once a week um but yeah i highly recommend it i could see why both elizabeth taylor and marilyn monroe liked doing this treatment because especially if you're on camera and really up close i think it just has a really nice effect and kind of makes your skin look more porcelain and smoother and it is easier to apply the makeup and do touch-ups and i feel like it makes the powder set better too so i'm shocked that i never did this sooner to be honest so i'm really excited that i have this little tool now and I can just buy new blades for it. So I'm definitely gonna keep up with this. Um, I really like the results. So yeah, let me know if you've ever done it in the comments below or if you think you might try it. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.